Your Hardware Canucks 2014 CES coverage is brought to you by NCIX. Technology connected. All right, so keep moving on this MSI gaming notebook train. So let's, this is a fully AMD gaming machine. And what we're told is that, you know, this is designed specifically for gamers that only want to do gaming. That's because there are uh, Intel and NVIDIA versions available that would be sort of an overall good fit for both gaming and productivity. But this is a strictly gaming machine running uh, an APU, so it's an A10 Richland. And it's also running an AMD Radeon R9 290X with two gigabytes of uh, GDDR5 memory. So it is uh, fairly pent out in terms of specifications for gaming, especially if you're playing any AM, uh, AMD specific games, you would still be able to get very decent performance, aside from this is running off an, uh, an APU. Um, but as you can see, again, MSI notebooks have, have this sort of very uh, similar formula. They follow aluminum construction, steel series keyboard with chiclet keys, different backlighting options, uh, audio. This is a 1080p display, 17 inch, pretty decent form factor for a gaming machine. And uh, what else can we say about this? You know, this is going to be strictly a gaming machine as we are told. Uh, because it doesn't necessarily hit that productivity and overall spot, but what it does hit is a sweet price spot. So these machines will be pricing from $11.99 to $12.99, depending on your configuration, of course, but still $12.99 for a strictly gaming machine that incorporates a lot of these features that we want. So an excellent keyboard, um, great sounding speakers, an excellent display with that full HD resolution, um, and a pretty decent performance that I'm, I'm sure that you can get out of this Richland APU and the R9 290X and this mobile form factor. So right now, let's go check out this uh, NVIDIA uh, offerings with the MSI gaming laptops, which are the GT Dominator series.